Hi everybody, welcome back. It is time once again to unbox Sephora Play. If you're new or unfamiliar with Sephora Play, it is a monthly subscription service. It's $10 a month plus tax. Each month you are gonna receive five sample size items. These are gonna be brands that are sold in Sephora stores and online at sephora.com. You're also gonna receive one bonus item each month. Sometimes it's a perfume sample. Sometimes it's a nice surprise, but at any rate, you get about six actual items. Again, $10 a month plus tax gets shipped to your door. You do go online and fill out a survey and they try to critique the box, not only to your skin type um, and texture and concerns, but also shade as well. But without any further ado, let's get into this. So quick backstory real quick. Um, I did hear that they have done away with the play pass um apparently people weren't using them as often and i guess you know it's just it's an extra hot thing for them to have to keep track of it's just i mean if people aren't utilizing it then why would they continue to do it i know myself i am so guilty of forgetting it every single time like i think i maybe in my entire time i've been doing this program which has been a couple years now have brought that play pass in three maybe four times maybe i mean it is nice because it is an additional 50 beauty points towards your insider account what i feel that they should do now is that if you are getting the play subscription i think they should just every month comp you 50 bonus points towards your account if you make a purchase you know what i mean i haven't seen anything saying that they're going to do that then again i really haven't paid that much attention to it so for all i know they are doing just that but anyway the first thing that you're going to see when you open your box is going to be this right here this is called your playbook this is always full of like fun little things like this month it looks like we have a whole bunch of games it's going to give you tips and tricks and fun little things uh in general and then also it's going to have in there a detailed outline of all the products you received in your play this month and then underneath is going to be the bag that contains your contents it is a plastic recyclable resealable uh, ziploc bag and mine has like a hole in it mine must have been stabbed with a forklift because there's actually a hole like in the bottom of my box and there's a hole in the back of my bag bad usps bad now this one is cute on the back of it it says i think that is the word play in a whole bunch of different languages so that's really cute this month's theme is beauty for self-care. I love that as a theme. I'm all about self-care. So let's jump out. Let's see what we got. So the first thing I'm seeing here is these teeny tiny little pot. This is coming to us from Artist Couture. This is, what is you? You look like an eyeshadow pigment. It looks like a loose eyeshadow pigment. Oh, the name of the shade is Yas. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Is this pigment? What are you? Let's read and find out. Look like you've achieved inner peace with a glow-inducing loose powder in an iridescent light pink shade. Next up we have, this is coming from Ciate London. This is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. We all know how I feel about primers. We know that I live for primers. Um, I mean, I have my tried and true. Nothing will ever replace, you know, my Smashbox, but I still love to try a new primer. Comfort, brighten, and prep skin for long-lasting makeup while soothing your senses with the scent of watermelon. Next up, and this is a generous size sample here. Very generous size sample. This is a one and a half ounce size sample. This has come to us from Diva Curl. This is Melt Into Moisture. This is Maca, or is that Matcha? Do you say a Matcha or Matka? I don't know. Either one butter conditioning mask so this is a hair treatment mask from diva curl and i know they make really good products oh my god it smells freaking amazing wrap your strands in hydrating matcha butter and almond oil for shiny nurtured curls that aren't weighed down this one's coming to us from skin fix this is the redness recovery anti-redness treatment oh so it's a overnight mask Ooh. Ooh, and it's got, I love that. Keep it airtight. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but you know, I'll, I'll deal. 
Like a comforter for your skin, this creamy overnight mask calms and visibly reduces redness. Next up we have, this is coming to us from Kiehl's. This is the Kandula Serum Infused Water Cream. I like all of the words in that sentence. What I don't like is it kind of smells like it confidence in a cream. You deserve just because flowers to match an equally soothing Candula Flower Extract Packed Water Cream. I think I said Candula. I think I said that all the time and I know it's Candula. And of course, last but not least, we have our bonus. This one's coming to us from Versace. This one is a bright crystal. Um, I have high hopes for you, Versace, because eh, I've smelled Versace's in the past. They haven't stunk. The perfect fresh floral scent to transform your home into a relaxing spa with notes of iced orchid and lotus flower. Is it a perfume or a room spray? I mean, if this is Versace and it's a freaking room spray, even I'm not that extra. And so that is it. That is everything that came in play by Sephora this month. I thought this was a very... I thought last month with all of the foundations was a really, really good box. I feel like this box was pretty freaking amazing too because you got a lot of really good products and some very generously sized ones. I mean, this Diva Curl, I mean, it's a hair mask, so you're going to put it on for a leave-in treatment, but one and a half ounces... Usually that's like the travel size that you pay like $15 for, you know what I mean? So that's a very generous size. Very nice. Can't wait to give this a try. The Kiehl's is, I think it's, I think it's Conjula Flower. I think that's the scent I do not like that they put in things. But I will, of course, give it a try because I'm all about that. The uh, Skin Fix Redness Recovery Overnight Mask. Now, even though I don't have redness in my skin, this is still an overnight mask, so it's going to moisturize, and I'm definitely going to give that one a go. I'm really interested in the Ciate London Primer, one, because you know I always love to try new primers. It's like primers and foundations are my favorite things to try out. They really, really are. Um, and this one's supposed to smell like watermelon, and the packaging's freaking cute as ever, so I can't wait to give this a try. And really... I'm really excited to give this Artist Couture highlight a try. I mean, it's a, this is about as much loose highlighter as you'll ever need, like in a lifetime. I know some of them come in such huge, huge containers and I'm like, you're never going to use all that. So I'm really excited to give this little guy a go too. Once again, I of course want to thank you as always for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And as always, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribe to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.